Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about the greenish warbler and its subspecies. The two subspecies are the West Siberian greenish warbler and the East Siberian greenish warbler. Their scientific names are Philoscopus trochiloides verdinus and Philoscopus trochiloides plumiotarsis. Some similar traits on both the species include their coloring, shape, size, habitat they live in the same area, their process of sexual selection through birdsong, and their predators and prey. The unique traits of P.T. Reardonis include one wing bar, which birds use to communicate, have a high frequency range in their songs, had three or four long units of song, and only recognize other P.T. Reardonis songs as potential mates. The unique traits of P.T. Plumiotarsis are that they have two wing bars, a lower frequency range, seven or eight short units of song, and they also only recognize other P.T. Plumiotarsis songs as mates. Both these species live in similar regions, even coexist in some regions, such as this red and blue overlapping zone. But the populations are isolated by behavioral isolation. The males in both these species sing in, sing in order to attract mates and mark their territory. When they hear other songs they recognize, they fight for territory. In the case of the East and West Siberian greenish warblers, they don't recognize each other's songs as threats because they don't consider them to be the same species, driving them further apart genetically because there is no gene flow. These are the phylogenetic trees relating to the greenish warblers. The first tree is, full, is the full family of Phyllascoidae, or leaf warblers. Within the family are two genera, Philoscopus, which is where the greenish warblers are located and written in dark font, and the Caesarces genera, which are in a lighter font. The other tree contains the phylogeny of Philoscopus trichyloides and the subspecies within it. This is where the, we see the two subspecies diverge.